Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I feel so weird wearing this. It doesn't fit with my headset on. It Anyway, welcome welcome to the video guys. Um today we have our last episode of Loki and I am not ready for it. I I'm ready but I'm not ready. It's like I'm excited to watch it but I'm also not ready for it to be over. And I'm scared. I'm really scared of what's going to happen. I'm scared that someone is going to die or get very badly hurt or something bad is going to happen. And I don't want it to happen. I'm scared, guys. I'm scared. But, you know, it is what it is. I can't change anything now. So, without further ado, let's get into the last episode. I'm also wearing my Sylvie shirt today. So, if anything bad happens, then... Why are they playing this as the intro song? Nah, you wouldn't have heard of me. I'm gonna put you on hand. Dance off, bro. Your friend from work. I can do this all day. Yeah, I know. I'll show you for us. Hire for the faster, baby. Ah. No. Korg. Oh, that's such a cool intro. Oh my god. Too many voices, I can't cope. Uh. That was a sensory overload, I don't like that. <laughs> oh god. What is happening right now? Is this our multiverse? Oh, vision! I have goosebumps already. What is this? Oh. Oh, oh, that's cool. Okay. Oh, oh, that's spooky, but cool. Oh, okay. I'm so ready. I'm not ready. I'm so ready. I'm not ready. This place is spooky. It's like a spooky space Hogwarts. Oh, well, no, you don't get a second. Door opens for you. You never, never open, never enter a place where the door opens for you. <laughs> they have clocks as heads. I swear to God, if it's missed minutes, I'm going to crack up. Hello. Why is this Oh, fuck. Welcome to the Citadel at the end of time. I don't trust this at all. The TVA can keep doing its vital work. It can kill Thanos. No. Don't trust her. It's not true. Oh god, Loki with the infinity gauntlet. Oh god. Oh my god, she's gonna shit herself when she sees that Mobius is back. She's gonna be like, how the fuck did you return? Hey there. What took you so long? Oh. Some things had to get worked out. Oh such a cool shot. They've really mastered this in the show. I feel like I've said that a lot of times, but I swear to God, if it's Mobius, like another like variant of Mobius, I'll cry. I, I genuinely have no idea though. Like there's so many theories going around, so many possibilities, and I genuinely don't have a set solid theory. And no, it's not Mephisto. If it is, then <laughs> fuck. Where are you? You're not the one that's supposed to say wow. Why? You don't have the right. Not what you were expecting, hmm? No, not what I was expecting. At all. Business. I said I wasn't to be disturbed. Well, then you're not going to be happy to see me. Surprise, bitch! What did you do? B fifteen. Why are we in twenty eighteen? What's going on? What's she doing? There'll be time for this. Just wait. Oh, are they taking them back to where they're supposed to be in the timeline? Oh, her. The Dream Slayer. What? Who are you? Oh, she's showing them the truth. She's showing them the truth. That isn't Judge Renslayer. That's her variant. How? We have a lot to talk about. Oh! 
Fuck yeah! But why? Why did you want them to get here, though? That's... You? Uh... Just walked down. They walked down his path and fell into his trap. And I have the rest. Uh, but what is his trap? What? What is... Everything <laughs> has to go on. Will? Free will? Only one person gets free will. The one in charge. Oh, shut up. Nobody cares. You've broken Mobius's heart. Nothing, Mobius. I didn't change. You didn't change? You betrayed me. No, no, you betrayed me. No, she... No, he did not. I looked out for you. Hung my neck out for you. And, and you, you pruned him. Crisis of faith and turned to those variants? Be honest. I didn't betray you. Yes, you did. Stop throwing your blame on him. Just be around you, Bona. I'm sorry, Mobius. I'm sorry, Mobius. Oh, I've been dubbed many names by many What if he's like a Thanos variant? <laughs> a ruler. For a while, there was peace. Narcissistic. Self-congratulatory. How did they discover this back then, though? I love your feet. I love it. Oh, it looks creepy in that form. I prefer it when it's just smoke in the sky. <laughs> I weaponize of cosmic harmony and... Welcome. Are you okay, dude? Get down off the table. Till you meet my variants. Till you meet my variants. Oh god. I swear if he is a fucking Thanos variant. And that's the gambit. So you led them here on purpose because you want them to take over. But do you Oh <laughs> I mean, it will give him full control, and Loki does want that. I mean, did want that at least. I've gone through a lot of Why does this look like something's happening he didn't expect? Well, he just crossed? It's unfortunate. What's the threshold? But now I have no idea. No idea how the rest of this is going to go. Timelines are branching. I'm being candid. Oh. I feel like she's gonna just run up and stab him. <laughs> what are you doing? Billy, hang on a moment. Let's just talk about it. Wait. Oh, this isn't how I expected things to go. Oh, please stop fighting. Please stop fight. Sylvie? Sylvie, chill. I mean, I'm with Sylvie. Just let him, just let her kill him. Maybe he's lying. Maybe he's not. Oh, where did you send him? Sylvie, stop. Oh, 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 my heart. Please don't decap decapitate him, Sylvie, please. Just love him and hug him. I genuinely believe Loki at this point. <laughs> He's not... I, I trust him, and that's Loki we're talking about. I don't wanna hurt you. Oh. I just want I you. Just want Oh. <laughs> but I meant no. the one who want wait does she want to kill him or does she want the throne did she trick him no she's gonna kill him there's no way she wants a throne aren't you gonna beg for your life Steel. 
Medusa. Doctor Strange is gonna be angry right now. <laughs> Oh my god, there's so many branches. Oh my god. There's so many things I can't get back. Yes, besties, let's go. <laughs> For all time. I don't like seeing him upset. I'm gonna cry. Just get the TVA, take them, lead an army, and go save her. Build a TVA army. Come on, Loki, you're stronger than this. Come on. Yes, Loki, let's go. Go get your boy. It's done, Mobius. Uh, we made a terrible mistake. What's done? We free the timeline. Uh, Take it easy. You're an analyst, right? What division what? are you from? What are you talking about? Who are you? What's your name? Boots on the ground now, archive. Huh? Who are you? Did he come back to the wrong timeline? Or did the timeline fuck up that Mobius forgot? What is ha- Don't fucking end here, I swear to god. Credits, right? There, there, there has to be an end credits. Surely. Hey, gimme, 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 gimme the goods, gimme the goods. Yeah! Season two! Woo! Wait, that's the end credits? Wait, where's the end credits? Are, is there no end credits scene? There isn't. Marvel? Hello? Well, welcome to the multiverse of madness, I guess. They have just taken Marvel and multiplied it by 50 million. Jesus, I don't know what to expect from anything in the future of Marvel, but I know that Doctor Strange is sitting there with his hand on his forehead just wanting to kill everyone. <laughs> so Sylvie is basically the cause of the multiverse of madness. I never expected it to be Sylvie. Uh, oh boy, Sylvie, Sylvie, what have you done? Oh my God. Um, I don't know how to feel about that. I feel like that episode was very short compared to the rest. Um, there was no end credit scene other than to tell us that we are getting season two, which we did already know, um, but they've actually physically confirmed it now, which is great. Um, so there's going to be, I don't know when that's obviously going to be, whether that's going to be after Multiverse of Madness, whether it's going to be before, uh, I, I don't really know, but I'm just really sad that Mobius doesn't remember Loki, whether that's a different Mobius, whether that's a, um, I, I don't, I don't know at this point, um, I, <laughs> Why would he forget him? What would cause the timeline to fuck up so much that he would forget him? Maybe because the timeline, like, reset? So, but then Loki wouldn't remember. I, I don't know. I, I need answers. I need my questions answered, like, right now. But we're gonna have to wait for the other movies and for the other series. And, uh, I mean, so the... Uh, the intro scene, I, I just want to say, it was absolutely awesome. I think that's the coolest Marvel Marvel intro that we've ever had. And there was so many voices. Like, it was such a sensory overload. But I'm I'm sure there'll be someone uh, who will, like, go through all of the lines and all of the quotes and all of the people and list them so that we all can just see who it was so I don't have to sit and listen a million times to work out who was who. Um, but, oh, God, I just... Uh, and, you know, to all the 14-year-olds on Twitter that have been complaining about Loki and Sylvie, about, oh my god, it's disgusting, and, uh, you know, Marvel have ruined this, and blah 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 shut the fuck up. They're different people. I said this in my last video. They are not siblings. It is not incest. They are variants of each other from different timelines, different, like, completely different scenarios. They are completely different people. They are a variant of the same person, but they are completely different people. They weren't just 
like they they're not it's loki i said this before research your norse mythology if you don't believe me it's as simple as that okay and i am so here for their kiss i knew it was gonna happen like it, it had to it had to happen um and i'm so glad that it did because i just think them two together are great uh i hope obviously you know we get to see more of them together in the future um but I'm I'm glad that they at least got to share that little moment. I think it's very wholesome and I'm so happy for them. Um, but I'm also not happy that they're not together and that she fucked everything up and that he's just like not recognized by Mobius and I just uh... So in this case, what if now ignore the pun, what if the what if series actually isn't what if, but that's actually all the different like multiverses, that's all the different like uh strands of the timeline that's just different versions of that like oh what if sylvie fucked up the timeline oh yeah here's what happens <laughs> oh god that's actually oh god oh god marvel why are you confusing me oh there's so much to think about so when it comes to loki himself i am sad to see him sad again uh the, the dude needs to catch a break i know it's kind of been in his thing where you know he's not allowed to you know he, he just doesn't he's not allowed to be happy he's not allowed to get what he wants he is just beaten down and we've had to watch him die like 500 times and we've had to watch him be angry and upset a million times and i just want him to catch a break i just hope in the next season or in somewhere he just is happy i know there was parts of this where with sylvie he kind of found a little bit of peace and he was happy and he had kind of found something that he'd never experienced before but I just want him to be happy. He wants Sylvie to be okay, and I want him to be okay. I want them both to be okay. I just want them to be happy. And I think now, now that they have more freedom, obviously it fucks everything up, but now that they have more freedom and they're not being controlled, um, I feel like this will give him the chance to like evolve his character a lot more because that's what we want to see from Loki. We want to see his character evolve, and we want to see him, you know... We just, we just want to see him happy. I just, I feel like giving him the opportunity to trust someone and give him the opportunity to be trusted was definitely going to be very, very helpful for his character and for his learning process in the fact that he isn't supposed to be alone and he doesn't have to be alone and he shouldn't be alone and he actually has friends and soulmates that he's meant to be with. Like... <sighs> I feel like most of this video is just me going ah, ee, ah, just making weird fucking noises and not making any sense with anything I say. So I apologize if the video cuts off a lot when I'm just kind of mumbling and jumbling. I, I apologize because I don't know what I'm talking about right now. I'm too tired and stressed and oh, I feel like we, like I said, I feel like we got answers, but we also didn't get answers. One answer has given us 50 more questions and it's like, I just, I just need to take a breather. Because I have a hundred questions. <laughs> I think one of the one of the kind of main questions, one of the main thoughts is, why did Sylvie do what she did? Obviously, she you know she knew down deep down in her heart, um, that she wanted to destroy the TVA. She wanted to get rid of who was behind all of this, and she did that. Did she betray Loki? I don't think she did. I think she just didn't want him to get in her way because. She knew what she wanted to do. I don't think she purposely, like, set him up in any way to, like, betray him purposely or anything like that. Um, I feel like she actually did herself find some some trust and some peace within him a little bit. Not fully, but um, he obviously did help with her plan a lot. But I don't think she completely betrayed him. I think she... She obviously wanted him to help, but he wasn't gonna. He was gonna stand in her way. So when she realized he was gonna stand in her way, wanted to talk things through, and didn't want to kill this dude, I think that that was when she was like, "All right, I need to get rid of him." But, um, you know, I still care for him. You know, obviously they both care for each other. So I think she was just like, "All right, well, you're gonna stand in my way, so I'm gonna kiss you and say goodbye, and you're gonna go do your own thing, but I'm still gonna do what I want to do." So I don't think she purposely meant to betray him, um, but I think that once she realized that, you know, she wasn't going to get her way, she was like, well, you know, I, I don't want you getting hurt, but I also don't want you getting in my way, so peace, peace dude, bye bye. Um, I, I do think she definitely still cared for him, though, I do definitely. Um, I think she just wanted them to do it together, which is kind of sad, and he wanted them to do it together, and 
now she's there confused and has fucked everything up and is going to be seen as a villain by everyone. Which, to be fair, she'd be a very, very, very cool villain. Um, I mean, Loki's our kind of villain anyway. Um, <laughs> but she's out there being confused and angry. And he's down there being sad and also confused because... He just pushed them out of the way, and he doesn't know what's happening, and now Mobius doesn't recognize him. <sighs> oh, so I feel like now, obviously, this is also going to be their way of bringing in the mutants. Like, I know I've mentioned this every time. I mean, I mentioned this all throughout WandaVision and all, you know, ever since they kind of said that the, the X-Men will one day be in the MCU. I keep trying to find ways to bring them in. I'm like, oh, you know, Wanda's thing is going to bring them in and all this kind of stuff. But that never really made full sense. Um, but now it makes sense because all the different, like, multiverses, all the universes are coming together and the Fox universe is going to enter the MCU universe. It's like, whoa, boom. And then we're going to get our... We're going we're gonna to get our mints. Because, ah! so... For those who don't know, X-Men has always been a bigger part of my life than the Avengers. I have always... No, don't don't get at me. Everyone has their preferences. I always preferred X-Men over Avengers. Um, I prefer the characters. I prefer the stories. I prefer everything about them. I am an X-Men fangirl. Um... I do still love the movies, don't get me wrong. I know not a lot of people ha I know not a lot of people like them, but I just enjoy what's there. I like to appreciate things in life. I don't like to nitpick at things like, oh, but that's not right, but that's not right. I just like to enjoy things because I like to indulge myself in fictional universes. I don't like to nitpick because it's pointless. Like, you get what you're given. Screenwriters know what they're doing. Like, obviously, some things could have been different in some movies. Some plot, like, plot holes and time confusions and stuff like that but for the majority of these things especially with loki like the, for the people that are complaining about you know silky as their ship name is called um the screenwriters know what they're doing and tom hiddleston would not let things happen if he thought it was wrong he was the one that was directing everyone else and saying this is loki this is what loki does this is how he does that like he gave them full like training and essays and he did so much work he knows loki's story from the bottom of his heart and he wouldn't let these things happen if he didn't believe in them. If he didn't think it was right or in Loki's character or anything like that, he wouldn't let it happen. Tom Hiddleston has a very big control over this, I'm pretty sure. And if he thought that the whole Loki and Sylvie thing was wrong, he wouldn't have let it happen. The screenwriters know what they're doing. Everyone who writes and directs and work, anyone who works on these shows know what they're doing, especially when it comes to Marvel. There is so such deep understanding to all of it. Just because you don't like it, Okay, it doesn't mean that you can complain and think, oh, I could do it better. If you could do it better, go work for Marvel. Go do, go be a screenwriter. Go write the script. Go. I Go go ahead. It's free. Go do it. Did you? No, probably not. They know what they're doing. Um, but anyway, back to the topic. I just went completely off topic. Um, but yeah, I very much love the X-Men. And to have the X-Men join the MCU would be a dream. Um... I, oh god, have Wolverine and like, I was gonna say Wolverine and Iron Man. Oh no, oh no, my two favorites. Oh god, okay, Wolverine and not Iron Man. I'm gonna need a minute. Um, well, Iron Man is my uh favorite uh superhero, um, my favorite Marvel superhero. Wolverine is my favorite X Men. Um, and just to, just to have Wolverine and even Quicksilver, I fucking love Quicksilver so much. Sorry, my brain is just non-functioning. I I can't focus on anything. I can't focus on discussion or topics or edit that. I'm so sorry if this is just completely mumbo jumbo, but I'm trying my best. Okay, I'm really trying my best. Um, but yeah, like uh, basically, I would very much like to see this be the introduction of the mutants into the MCU and, um. They could do so much more. There could be so much more that they can do, and I'm really looking forward to. It. And the all the Spider Men, everyone's been rumoring about all the Spider Men actors being in the one thing, and this is the way they can do it because different variants. And like I said in my last video, different variants of Quicksilver. You've got MCU Quicksilver, which you know that uh, you have um, Ralph Boner. I know I called him Peter Boner in the last one, but Ralph Boner. You've got him. Uh, you also have. 
you know, the X-Men, Quicksilver, and they could all just be variants of uh, Pietro, Peter, you know? So, it makes sense. It all is starting to make sense, but also, uh, when it starts to make sense, it also starts to get even more confusing. I wait. Which let me let me find out actually real quick. Which which is the next in the time or which is the next in phase four that's coming out? I know what if is coming out, but I mean like canon. I, I why? It's because I know what if is kind of just oh what if this happened, but I mean like in the actual story. Um. Okay, so September we have Shang Chi, which I haven't actually even watched the trailer for. Um, so I feel like I'm gonna go into that one completely blind, but I will be watching Shang Chi. Uh, the Eternals, I will be watching. Okay, so The Eternals is November. So we've got September, November. Spider-Man is December. And then Doctor Strange is March. Thor is in May. Black Widow, Shang-Chi, Eternals, Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, Thor, Black Panther, The Marvels. The Marvels? I feel like I don't remember seeing that. Then at Man in the Walls, Blank Guardians of the Galaxy 3 in 2023. Um... What's the Marvels? Oh, the oh Captain Marvel. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Duh. Um, okay, so we've got a lot to look forward to, and our questions are not going to be answered until all these movies are done. <laughs> There's so much more to come, and then after that, I feel like that's when we're going to eventually move on to the Young Avengers, um, and hopefully uh, Animal Avengers. You know? Crocodile Loki. Or, sorry, Alligator Loki. Uh rocket rocket's girlfriend from the guardians game and i think the comics uh you've got uh cosmo you have har the duck <laughs> you have i mean grit's a plant but we're gonna count him as, as one of them grit uh we're, there's so many that you could have um and you know what i'm here for it i'm here for the animal avengers maybe that could be a multiverse that could that could definitely be one um see i'm gonna stop rambling now because i feel like i've rambled enough um but I'm just, I'm, I am a little sad that the episode was so short, but at the same time, I'm glad we are getting a season two. So let me know what you guys think. What, what was your opinion on this episode? If you have any bad things to say about, like, Loki and Sylvie, just cut it out. Just don't bother. Um, I'd prefer to have more positive opinions in my comments. Like, I get not everyone has a positive opinion of it, but don't come in and try and shit on the episode, please. Just say, oh, I wasn't a big fan of this or that. But, you know, just don't... I, I'm going to delete any shitty comments because I don't want negativity. But let me know what you think. Let me let me know what your favorite part was. What do you think is going to happen next? How do you think Doctor Strange is feeling right now? Um, was this an effect of Wanda hearing her son's voice in the the cutscene of... Uh, or the credit scene of WandaVision? Um, what's, what, what, what's going to happen? I don't know. I'm so... Um, so thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more Marvel and Star Wars content. I'm still reacting to the Bad Batch currently and Rick and Morty stuff will be eventually coming soon because I really need to watch that. But now that Loki's out of the way, I have more time during the week so I will be able to do that. Um, so thank you guys for watching and... Uh...